Hello everyone. I hope you all are great with your families at your home. Children welcome back. Today in this video we are going to start a new verse 6 and out written by G D Martinio. Now children see the image some children are playing cricket here yes and so the title suggests six and out before moving on we'll discuss a little about the title six and out children six and out is a pun p u n now a pun is a it's a literary device it's a figure of speech in which we use a word which suggests more than one meaning now in six and out which word is a pun just think and no out no not here actually six now see Six might refer to the lockup time of the park, after which the players were forced to play on the street. Might be six is used for that sense. Also, six might be referred to the six boundary hit by one of the batsmen. You know the sixer. So one of the batsmen after which everyone ran away from the scene. So here, six has been used for. Two meanings. That's why it's a pun. About the poet. Gerald Durrani Martineau, born in 1897 and died in 1976. He was a prolific English cricket writer. Now prolific children, prolific means very creative. He was born in Lahore and educated at Charterhouse School and Royal Military College, Sandhurst. He was a captain in the Royal Sussex Regiment in World War I and authored the history of the Royal Sussex Regiment, 1953. Now let's see the gist of the verse, the summary of the verse. See children, physical games have always been the fascination of each and every child, every boy and every girl everywhere in the world. Now although sports and physical games have been reduced to one's living games, one's living room due to, due to the scarcity of playgrounds in cities, but children and villages are luckier. Why? Because they have space to play and enjoy. Now, this poem presents a similar situation where children have been forced to play cricket outside the park because the park closed down at 6 and they were forcefully out of the park. Now, the children's determination to play shows that space is not a limiting factor for sports. All we need is determination. Now children, enjoy this beautiful animation of the verse. And try to listen each and every word very carefully to get the proper pronunciation of the words. The pitch was only smooth in parts. It sank at either crease. And motor vans and baker's carts at times disturbed the peace. The bowlers found it hard to hit the lamppost's slender stem. The broader wicket opposite was cleared at 6 p.m. It was a keen, determined school, unorthodox and free. Harsh circumstance oft made the rule and not the MCC. The scorer, seated by the well, kept up a fire of talk. He was both umpires, crowd and all, and plied a busy chalk. So, 
standing musing on the scene, I let the moments pass. How well he drove it to the screen, and then the crash of glass. I watched the players as they ran, and heard while yet they fled. The loud voice of an angry man, the law's majestic tread. So children, I hope you have enjoyed the animation and have understood a little about the poetry. So now children, see this is the complete poem here. So we'll go through this line to line. The pitch was only smooth in parts. The pitch. Pitch is the area where the children were playing cricket. Now the pitch was not smooth. It was not even. It was uneven. It sank at either crease. And motor vans and baker's carts at times disturbed the peace. Now as you all know that the area where the children were playing, it was not actually the playground. It was the busy road. So often, very often, the motor vehicles, the vans and the baker's carts, they were, you know, crossing by the road. So the children have to stop their game because of their disturbance. Now, the bowlers found it hard to hit the lamp post slender stem. The broader wicket opposite was cleared at 6 p.m. Now, children, they were playing cricket in the street and both the pitches, yes, on both the sides, they were not smooth. Motor vans, baker cars, that like that, uh, you know, the baker cars, they sold bakery items and the game was not smooth because of them so on both the ends were lamp posts yes the lamp posts which the children used as their wickets now either end of the pitch was lower than the other end so it was very very difficult to play on the road because the road was not empty it was not even fine so children clear now it was a keen determined school unorthodox oft made the rule and not the mcc the scorer seated by the well kept up a fire of talk now children the closing time of the park was fixed but the closing of the park Fine. Just because of that, the children does not, you know, let out of their idea of play. No, they have to play. They were very, very determined to play. So they started playing on the busy road. Now children see uh, the very interesting part of the poetry. The scorer seated by the well kept up a fire of talk. Now the empire of the game he was he played two roles altogether he was an empire also and the crowd also fine he was the only crowd so he kept a fire of talk fine he was cheering the players also and he was maintaining the scoreboard also see he was both empires crowd and all and plied a busy chalk like he was writing continuously with the chalk to maintain the scoreboard. So standing musing on the scene, I let the moments pass how well he drove to the screen and then the crash of glass. Now unintentionally, one of the player broke the window glass of a neighbor. I watched the players as they ran the voice of an angry man, the lost majestic tread. As soon as they broke the window glass, they all got very scared and they started running in all the four directions. Fine. And behind them, they heard the voice of Lost Majestic Tread. Now here, Lost Majestic Tread refers to the policeman. So children, this is the verse 6 and out written by G.D. Martineau. Now let's see the new words which you have come across in the verse. 
pitch pitch is an area where cricket is played crease crease is an area demarcated by white lines or chalk on the pitch unorthodox unconventional slender is thin musing thinking and laws majesty here in this poetry it refers to a policeman now children it's time for the assignment it's a very short assignment see on the basis of your understanding of the poem choose the correct option a the children are playing baseball in a courtyard food football in a field or cricket on a busy road b the laws majestic tread is used for policeman wicket keeper or a bowler the game was disrupted because it's the c1 the options are because it was late evening the players broke a glass or the people were shouting at the players so just go through the poetry a number of times and uh, select the options very carefully children that's it for today children i hope you have understood the poetry and uh, if you have any confusion or if not just go through the verse you know two two three times try to recite it aloud it will you know uh, improve your pronunciation also and uh, the poetry will be definitely be more clear to you do the assignment and submit it on or before the given submission date go through the description box to get the details of the video for any confusion or query just post it in the comment section and uh, that's it we'll meet again in the next video till then take care of yourself stay home eat healthy food have a nice day bye everyone